Hi everyone, welcome to SD Atelier. Thank you so much for clicking this video. My name is Susan. In today's tutorial, I'll be making this beautiful crisscross neckline or scissors neckline. It is very easy to make. If you're interested, please follow along. All right, so I have my body stretched out on a fresh uh, pattern paper. The front on a folded uh, paper, then I have the back also traced out, okay? So I'll be starting from the front. I will keep the back uh, bodies first. Then I'll start from the front. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do now is to transfer the shoulder that to the side. Okay, so then I'm going to trace it out on the other side of the paper. But the first thing, I'm going to slash the side here. Then I'm going to transfer the shoulder that to the side. Okay, so I'm going to cut it till I get to the bust point so that the shoulder that will be able to lay flat when I fold it. Right now, I'm going to use my tracer wheel just to trace around the body so that it will show at the other side of the paper. You know, the paper is on fold, so I'll just trace it like so. Like so. After tracing it out, I use my marker pen to draw it out, okay? So the next thing I'll be doing is just to fold the shoulder that I'll use my masking tape to tape it down. I'll do the same on the two shoulder darts. Okay, so right now I'm going to widen the neckline because I want to curve it to the arm O. Alright, so I'll just widen it by uh, one inch, then draw a curve like so. Okay, you can use your free hand, can just you can eyeball it draw it or you can use your cover ruler okay in this case i'm going to use the cover a little at the arm o side okay all right then i'm going to use my hand i'll just draw a curve to connect to the shoulder like so Okay, so right now, from the center front now, I'm going to draw a curve from the shoulder tip to join the center uh, line. Okay, you can actually measure it, but I'm just going to eyeball it the way I want. So I'll connect in a slightly curved line, connect it to the center front. All right, then I'm going to use my ruler to highlight the center front. Alright, so down the next thing for me is to cut out. After cutting now, I'm going to remove the masking tape from the shoulder dart. Okay, then I'm going to close the slash I made at the side. Just close it. Okay, then I'm going to come back to the shoulder that now. I'm going to mark half an inch, half an inch on each side. Okay. Okay, then I'm going to use my uh, French curve, or my curve ruler to connect it in a slightly curve to the bust point. 
like so. like so okay so i'll be moving to the under bust i'm i'm going to mark half an inch on each side you can take up to one inch it depends on how bust the person is but this is for a smaller bust so i'm just taking half an inch okay then i'm going to use my uh, ruler to connect in a curve to the post uh, point don't let it be pointy just make a natural curve all right okay then i'm going to connect it from the under boss to the uh, waist that Okay. All right, it's time to cut the dart off now. Don't forget to label side front, center front. Okay, so now we'll move to the back. Okay, so at the back now, um, at the neck area, I'm going to come down by half an inch. You can make it one, it depends on you. But I'm using half an inch. Then don't forget we widen the front neckline by one. So I'm going to do the same to the back now. Okay, then I'm going to square in a little, maybe like one inch, then I'll connect in a curve to join the shoulder. Like so. Okay. Now, if I want a precess line, I can just connect from the dart, then connect to the shoulder dart. Like so. Okay. But in this case, I'm going to remove the shoulder dart from the shoulder tip, the armor side. I have one cm as the shoulder dart so i'll just mark one cm as the shoulder tip then i'll connect in a curve to the arm o okay so at the center back i came in by half an inch it is very important so that when we fix the zip it will not be bulging out so we just come in by half an inch okay so now it's time to cut So I have the front and back right now. So I'm going to place on fabric, then add my joining allowances. I'm going to add half an inch all around, like so, like so. Then the side, I'm going to use one inch. Okay. You can use one and a half. It depends on you. Then the bottom, I'm going to use half an inch also. I'll add half an inch as my seam allowance. Then to the back, um, I'm going to, at the center back, I'm going to use uh, one inch. Then the other part, I'm going to use half an inch. I right, so the side, I'm going to add one inch. Then the bottom, I'm going to use half an inch. So I have it cut out on both the lining and the main fabric. So we're going to start from the front. So what I'm going to do now is to join the panels together at the center on both the lining and the main fabric. You can actually iron your interface it on them before joining but because this is just for tutorial purpose i'm not going to iron any interfacing so i'll just join it together then i'll be right back so i'm done with the stitching okay so now what i'm going to do now is this i'm going to place a right side to right side i created a notch at this point 
okay so i'll just join from that point by half an inch stitch it down like so okay then i'm going to do the same to the lining then i'll be right back i'm done stitching the center both on the lining and the main fabric so right now i'm going to place the lining on it like so right side to right side okay so from the center notch i'm going to stitch from that side i'll stitch on half an inch okay like so straight to the shoulder then at the neck also from the ammo i'll stitch half an inch like so then i'll place the other neck line so from the notch area half an inch then the ammo half an inch i'm done stitching so i went ahead and notch then i under stitch as much as possible so now i'm going to trim the excess from the seam allowance just trim a little so that it will lay flat by the time we iron it that's just the purpose don't call the thread so i'm going to do it on the two side When I'm done, I'm going to turn inside out. Okay, so I've turned it, okay. So now we want to work on the back. So I'm going to keep the front, I'm going to put the front aside. So we want to work on the back, okay. So the lining right side to the right side, lining and the main fabric, and I'll stitch at the neck half an inch. Then I'll stitch at the arm or half an inch. I'll do the same on the other side, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm done stitching the arm o and the neck. Then I went ahead and top stitch and also trim a little so it's not be bulky. So the next thing I'm going to do now is this. I'm going to take the front part, so the neck area. I'm going to insert a shoulder to shoulder, right side facing each other like so. I'll insert the shoulder inside the shoulder of the back, okay. Then I'm going to stitch down like so. I'm going to do the same to the other side, right side facing, right side, insert the shoulders, then stitch down. So I'm done stitching the shoulders, so I'm going to trim a little so it will not be bulky. You may leave it if you don't want to, okay, but I'm trimming it. Okay, then I'm going to pull out now. So you can see it the face the right side here it is you can see it's forming already and looking nice and make sure you press as you move okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is this i'm going to take uh, the ammo side of the back like so i'm going to open it then i'll take the front also the ammo side i'll open it main fabric facing the main fabric lining facing the line then i'll stitch on one inch then i'll do the same to the other side i hope you understand i'm going to face it right side facing right side like so then i'll stitch down and i'll be right back I'm done stitching down and I went ahead and iron open so I to lay flat. At this point, you can actually add your boss pad, okay, but I'm not putting because it's just for a tutorial purpose. So now what I'm going to do now on the zipper side, okay, just for it to be neat, I'll turn it like quarter of an inch on the two sides. Okay. Then at the bottom, if I'm not adding any peplum, so I'll just turn the bottom by half an inch. Then I'll leave a little opening at the zipper side, so I will turn everything out. So that's just about it. I'll turn it and come back. 
Okay, I'm done stitching and I left small opening at the zipper side. Okay, so I'm going to use it to turn it inside out now. And here it is looking really nice after turning it. I'm still going to give it a good press. But before then, I'm going to fix my zipper. Then don't forget to put your boss pad, okay? Then um, after fixing the zipper and ironing, I'll place on my dress form for you to see. All right. And here it is looking nice. In fact, I'm loving it. Please don't forget to try yours. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. You can also hit the notification bell so to get notified when I upload new videos. Till I come your way again. Bye for now.